Get him, Cora. What is it? You got something in your ear. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today I have got some shop maintenance that I want to do and it's going to be exciting. Wait till I tell you what we're going to be doing. You're going to think that is exciting work. I'm going to be doing some maintenance on my air system, changing things up because I'm not satisfied with the way things are. My air system in here is pretty awesome, pretty, but it can be better. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it better. So thank you for watching and let's get started. So you know what they always say, two hose drills is better than one. It's actually two heads are better than one, but two hose drills, it has to be better than one. So here's what I'm going to do. This hose reel is not that great. In fact, it kind of sucks. It does not, it doesn't, it gets bound up all the time. I want this hose reel outside of the building because it also folds sideways, as you can see. See that folding? That's nice because that'll fold and hide. I've got another hose reel, a pretty nice one that I picked up from KBC Tools that I want to put in its place, one that I, I'm sure I won't have to fight with this one near as much. Plus it's a higher capacity hose. It's a nicer setup. And you're, you're oh, Steve, why do you want an air hose reel outside the building when you've got one right there by the door? I know some of you are thinking that. Let me tell you why. Because the weather around here in the wintertime, it's cold. I don't want to open my doors to pull the air hose through. Plus, even in the summertime, when it's not raining, it's so humid outside that all it does is let a ton of wet air in here and rust all my tools. I want an air hose outside the shop, okay? So, now that we've settled that, and you know why, let me show you the air hose reel that I'm going to put in this one's place. Then we'll get started. I've got some fittings and stuff that i got to make. It's going to be a lot of work, but you know we're going to knock it out quickly. So here's a look at the hose reel that I'm going to be putting in the existing one's place. This one has a half inch hose where the one that's currently on the wall has a three eighths hose. So larger capacity air hose, which means it can handle bigger air tools. Like I said, I picked this up from KBC Tools and I got it while it was on sale. So for what I paid for this thing, I'm pretty happy with the quality. Plus, if you look at that, it's an open design. The reel is as open. On the other one, it's enclosed. You can't see when the other one gets jammed up and keep fighting that hose, pulling it out, putting it in. In and out, in and out with that hose. And it's just a battle. It's all up trying to get across. And I think that this one will be better suited for in the shop and the other one will be better suited for outside of the shop. And I'll no longer have to open the doors to use an air tool outside. That's pretty good. I like that. So before we get started, just drilling holes in concrete and hanging the hose reel, I got to make a couple fittings. And don't tell me in the comments that you can buy these fittings because I already know that. I'm not waiting a day for them to get delivered and I'm also not driving to town. We can make these real quick, that's why we have a shop. So what I need to do is take this female three quarter NPT to three eighths male NPT and turn it into a quarter NPT. This needs to be quarter, not three eighths. So I can hook up my air hose to my fittings. I'll make that really quick. And then this, I need an adapter. So three quarter NPT female to half inch NPT female so I can connect my air system in the shop to the actual hose reel itself. You'll see. Let's blast these out really quick. This won't take very long and then we'll get started with the joyous uh, work of hanging that hose reel. So I'm going to use the mini lathe to do this actually. We're going to take and turn off these 3 8 NPT threads. Just give us a smooth outer section there. Cut a little bit of the length off of it and then I'm going to turn down the outside of this and shorten it a bit to where it will slide together and then I will actually, I'll actually solder these together to make one fitting, the one that I need. And it'll be perfectly fine that way. I've done that, this kind of stuff a gazillion times. Threads are removed now. I'm just going to shorten this up a little bit just to, 
just so it's not so long overall. And we'll just we'll just part it off. Square that little tool with the with the vise. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is turn down the outside diameter of this down to 450 thousandths. That will allow this to slide into that hole. It'll still give us plenty of strength, you know, for, for this thing, for what we're doing. It'll slide down into that hole. It'll leave a little bit of clearance for our solder to get in between the two. And then we'll solder these two together and we'll have our fitting. And that's a lot quicker than going to the store. I also have to shorten it a bit. Oh. oh yeah, it's gonna work just fine. Now I need to cut this off about right there. Bit of flux. Boom! I'd still be looking for my car keys in my wallet. So that fitting that I just made, all that's going to do is allow me to connect to the end of the air hose here and to my quick disconnect. So this is, this is a half inch hose. And this is a quarter inch fitting, so it is a restriction, but it's not a restriction up into the fitting, and this is a high flow fitting. So this is what I'm using in the shop. So we could go to bigger stuff if we were running really large air tools, but we're not. This will just, this will be nice. It, it'll work well, just like that. So I've already started on this fitting, and it is an adapter from half inch 
three quarter or sorry three quarter inch NPT to half inch NPT. So it'll be three quarter inch female NPT on this side, half inch NPT uh, on this side, and that is just to adapt this hose connection fitting, the hose that runs around the length of the runs around the perimeter of my shop. It's to connect the air system actually to the hose that goes to the reel. So I've already got this part of the fitting made, so I just need to do some measuring, make us a mark, part this off, flip it, drill it, and tap it a half inch NPT. one inch, so we're gonna make this two inches. That'll give us enough room to tap. Part it off, drill it, and tap it for the half inch NPT on the other side. So we'll just mark this at two inches. I'll just take it to the saw. Yeah, I can see that. Take it to the saw, cut that off, bring it, face it, drill it, tap it.
doing a quick test fit on this. I don't have a gauge. So I just take the fitting that I'm going to use because of NPT, in case you don't know, it's a tapered pipe thread and you need a certain depth for a, for a good connection. You need a certain depth of, of engagement between the fitting and the part that screws into it. So that's all I'm doing is test fitting that. I'll tap this a little bit deeper and test fit again until I get a, you know, a good a good engagement. So this hose reel is quite a bit heavier and it has a different mounting, different mounting bolt pole pattern. So what I'm going to do is take this piece of paper and I'm going to use my dirty hands to, to mark out where my holes are going to be. And then I'll take this and hold this up against the wall. And transfer transfer my holes over. Mm -hmm. I use one of the existing holes. I'm mounting these with some uh, Tapcon quarter inch. I love these Tapcon screws. I just gotta get this thing level. Does that look level to you? It looks kind of, kind of level to me. There we 
we go. That is mounted. So there we go, that one is mounted. Let's try it. It's the first time I've ever, ever pulled this out. Um, this is the easy one, the one on the outside. I'll have to drill through the building, put a T in that line, connect it outside. It's gonna be a little more difficult than this one. But... Oh yeah, this is nice. Check that out. I need to move this thing down a little bit. Look at the stopper. There we go. I like it. So now that I've got my hose reel mounted on the inside, now it's time to mount the one on the outside. Now the good thing about this hose reel here is that it, it is completely enclosed. That's really good. It'll help it protect it from weather. The bad thing about this hose is that it's Fully, fully enclosed because I can just picture in my mind a bird flying by here looking at this small opening where the hose comes out and going and getting its mate and saying Herbert look look how cute this place is it's perfect for raising our young let's build a nest here look how sheltered it is and he's going to agree with her because what else would he do and they're going to be a bird's nest in here or just a bunch of wasps one way or the other We'll see if I have to deal with that or not, but I do expect it. Now, because this thing has a swiveling bracket on the back, and I have to mount it above these doors anyway, because they slide open on this track here, I'm gonna mount it about right here, and then when I'm not using it, I can just swivel it to the side, and it will be completely covered from rain at least, snow, whatever, because of the overhang of the roof. I think it's going to work pretty good out here, and I'll just adjust this collar to where all I have to do, you know, is just reach up, just keep it above head level, pull it out, and use it outside. So I'm going to grab the hardware that I think that I need anyway to mount this guy, and then I'll have to plumb it in, which will really be the hard part. This is the easy part. So I'm going to be mounting this right on this seam here. There is a stud back there, and I'm using these large T30 GRK screws, which are, uh, they're just a big flat washered head screws. That'll be, be perfectly good for holding this thing. And I am going to get this up here and attempt to mark where I want the holes. There for one. Oh gosh, that hit me right on the head. So this was sent to me by a viewer quite some time ago. It's been an awesome little tool. Little Sun X is the brand. It's a ratchet for your little quarter drive bits. And anytime you're in a position where you've got really tight, uh, you know, a tight position, can't get normal stuff in, this works really well. Fender wheels on vehicles or whatever, you get the idea. It's actually starting to rain a little bit. That is not coming down easily. And it 
almost, you know, fold completely flat. It's definitely behind the edge of the roof here, just in time for the rain. Now I gotta plumb this in. Should jump out of my hand now. Oh, easy. Come on now, I just wanna show my friends. I'll let you go. Very neat, fat little frog. So here's the kit. It's a Rapid Air Max line. I've showed this on the channel a couple times, actually. Really, really good stuff. Cora thinks it's good, too. So this is just some extra hose that I have left over. It's almost an entire bundle. You can buy the kit cheaper than you can buy the components individually. So when I needed a bunch of fittings and a little bit of hose, it's just cheaper to buy a whole kit than to buy just a little bit. So I just need a section probably about three feet long. Fine, I think. Now for the part I really dread. Ugh, the attic. It's hot up there. Really hot. So I said that I wasn't gonna bring you guys up here. But if we're gonna sweat, we're gonna sweat together. Oh goodness. It's tight up here. And hot. Ugh. I have a heat stroke. Maybe you can carry me down. Or vice versa. When you're here in a spot like this, you bring some adjustables. I do think that that is going to work. 
just fine. I'll just have to seal around both these holes and get out of here without passing out. And I think we'll be good. Goodness gracious. Ugh. It's a bit warm up there. Just a little bit. So now it's time to pressurize the system and leak check. Just some soapy water. Just spray it a little on the fittings. Oh, I still gotta climb back up in the attic and see if they give us any bubbles. These fittings are not bad about leaking, although they do on occasion. Oh, I do have a leak right here. Small one, but still a leak. And I don't like leaks. So there we go, finished. Thank goodness. At least I think I'm finished. It works. I think it's gonna do just fine. It's not the best looking thing hanging off the front of the shop, but to be honest, I'd rather it function the way that I want than it to, to look a certain way. There we go. I had to put it above the doors for obvious reasons, but that's fine. It don't look the best in the world, but now that it's done, I can have air outside without having to, to open the doors. And uh, it folds up out of the way, out of the weather. And it's 50 foot, so I can reach way out in the driveway now. Done. So I am really glad to have that hose reel outside. Now, anyone who needs air, neighbors or anything, they can just come over and grab that hook there, chuck up. I'll have one of those out there and use it. They don't have to ask. I don't have to come up, open the doors for the wife, for the kids and their, their tires. Any of that stuff just makes sense. I don't have to open the doors when it's raining outside or when it's cold outside. I can just I just got a hose reel out there already. Most of the old service shops that I remember, they had air hose reels outside. And I just think it's kind of cool. Plus, I'm not a huge fan of that air reel that was in here. I think it's better suited for outside and occasional use. And this one, more, you know, full-time use. Bigger air hose on this one. It'll carry, should carry more energy. And it's just less likely to bind up than that one that's in close. So we'll see. That's it, I think. It's gonna work. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, anyone who's helped me out whatsoever, it is much appreciated. So that is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.